Once you have SkyBot Scheduler installed, it's easy to start scheduling jobs. To help you get started quickly, we've installed some demo jobs for you to use as templates. Step 1. Select Scheduling Objects and Agent Environments. Click on the Demo Environment. Open it and select Edit. Here you'll want to replace Demo with a valid user and password for your local agent. This is the user that these jobs will run under. Edit the path and then save the environment. Now you have a valid environment to run your demo jobs under. Go up to Jobs and select Individual Jobs. This will open the list of demo jobs that were created for you. You can see that they've got a number of different types of schedules. Let's open the Demo Runs Daily job. Double click on it and you will see the description for that job. The general section shows the name of the job and the agent that it's going to be running on. If you scroll down to the Schedule section, you'll see that this job runs three times every day. You can drop down that day of next to day of week and you can see that there are all different types of schedule types that you can use for scheduling SkyBot jobs. Keep scrolling down and when we get to the agent environment you'll see that the user and the working path were updated for our demo environment. That's updated automatically on each job that's using it. Now open Edit for the commands. So we're just running an echo command in this job, but this is where you would enter the script or the executable that you will be running on your jobs. Clicking on the add will show you that you can add another command, a file transfer, or other types of commands depending on the application that you're running. Now go ahead and save this job. It will bring us back to the list and what we're going to do is right click on it and we're going to run this job and see what happens when it runs. So right click. Select Job Control, Run Job Now. It will prompt the job. Go ahead and select that button for Run Job Now. Now you can go ahead and right click on that job again and go to History. And let's take a look at the history of this job when it ran. You can see that the job completed normally. And if you right click on it, we'll have some other options. And what we're going to do is we're going to download the job log just so I can show you the logging that we do when a job runs. So we'll open that log and you can see the name of the job, the time that it ran, the description and the agent that it's running on, the user that it's running under. Then if you scroll down, there's our echo command and down below it are the results of that command. We got a good completion code, so we're all good to go. So that's it. You've run your first SkyBot scheduler job. Hopefully we got you started very easily. If you need any help going forward, be sure and give us a buzz.